Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Good morning, ladies. I'd like to welcome you to the Valder Beebe Show. We're broadcasting live across the nation on FM radio. I'd like to welcome Dr. Yasmin and Amber Chavez. And I heard you brought a celebrity, Manny, with you. I do have my buddy Manny here with us. I was looking at Manny. He's probably got more followers than all of us combined. <laughs> I, I think so. I think so. <laughs> that is so good. Dr. Yasmin, I'm going to start with you because we're talking about a serious subject. You know, you want to get my audience ready and make sure that their pet is ready for warmer weather. I'll get to you in a minute, Amber. Of course. Sure. So, yes, me. Yeah. Tell, tell us what they need to be prepared for. So, I think, you know, today we want to raise some awareness around um, the flu virus for dogs, so um, canine influenza. And, um, you know, while it's a year round um, thing that your dog can come in contact with, it's an upper respiratory infection. So a lot of times we'll see coughing, sneezing. Um, they may have a high fever, so they may not want to eat. They may be very tired. Um, and while it's a year-round virus that's passed through the air, um, we talk about it a lot in the spring, and we you know, are here today to raise awareness along with um, Merck Animal Health um, to talk about this virus and the importance of getting your dog vaccinated. Certainly if you see any of those signs, you want to get into the veterinarian, but really prevention is key when okay. we're talking about this. Dog flu, is it similar to people flu so we can look out for those kind of symptoms? Exactly, very similar. So again, runny nose, sneezing, coughing, a lot of nasal discharge, um, frequently high fever. Um, so again, you might not be able to tell that your dog has a fever, but if they're not wanting to eat, they're very tired, um, they seem off to you. Um, again, pet parents know their dogs best. Mm -hmm. So if you, you know, think something's wrong, it's best to get in to see your veterinarian. Okay, we know when you have people flu, usually the young and the old are at the most vulnerable. How about in the adult population? So, you know, again, this is a very contagious virus. It's fairly new. So most dogs that um, are exposed to the virus will contract the virus. So unlike um, the human flu where we think about the young and the old being more at risk, all dogs really are at risk for this virus. Now, that being said, Certainly the immune systems of younger and older dogs are a little bit more challenged, so the signs can be a lot more serious in these dogs. Um, you know, we did see outbreaks in 2015 in Chicago mm -hmm. where Amber and Manny are from, and then again last year in 2018 on the East Coast and the West Coast. Um, and unfortunately, some of those cases did um, have complications from those uh, canine flu viruses and, and resulted in deaths. So um, it can be serious, just like with people. Thank you for that clear explanation. Dr. Yasmin. Amber, I'm going to ask you, as a, a, a pet mom, it, please excuse me if you don't go by that title. I do. As a pet, <laughs> okay, as a pet mom, when you're trying to take care of Manny, uh, uh, how do you feel when we're talking about the dog flu? Um, so it's definitely something that I wasn't even very aware of um, until our vet had mentioned it. As, as Dr. Yasmin mentioned, we're from Chicago, and one of the bigger outbreaks started there um, years ago, so that was right then and there. I thought, well, obviously we need to do something to not get that. And we also don't want to be the pet parent that spreads something like that. So that's why Manny is vaccinated. My dogs are vaccinated against it. He has other siblings at home because we don't want have to have Manny spread it or bring it home to his other siblings either. So, you know, prevention is key and y you can keep their immune system up. You can do what you can with healthy food and diet exercise, but the only way to prevent something like the dog flu would be, you know, a vaccination. Okay, and what about socialization for Manny? Do you keep him isolated when the flu's going around, you know? No. And I'm only going by what I know about people. Um, no, actually, so if your, your dog is vaccinated against the dog flu, you don't have to worry about him getting sick. You are absolutely in the clear. Um, so you don't, dogs are do, social dogs, you know, animals anyway, so you don't want to keep your dog inside. It's not, it's like I said, they had mentioned it's year round, so you can't keep your dog in year round. So you definitely want to do something that just keeps him healthy so you can take him out, whether it's in January or it's in June. All right, then. Dr. Yasmin, uh, your final warning for my uh, listening audience, because I know people love their pets. So I think a great resource is um, a website called dogflu.com. Um, it has a lot of great information about the flu. Um, it also has a little um, area where you could type in your zip code and find a local veterinarian that gives the vaccine. Um, it has great information. There's a frequently asked questions section. So that's a great resource. Again, it's dogflu.com. 
That, that's great. Thank you so much. And I'm going to wrap up with you, Amber. All right, tell me the best thing about being Manny's mom. Uh, you know, this little face and just being a pet parent in general is very rewarding um, to just have to take care of. Uh, I, I feel like it's probably similar to having a child, um, taking care of an animal and just having them rely on you for all things um, is it, pretty rewarding, and I love it, and I love being a dog mom. And those people who want to be Manny's friend, how do you get there? <laughs> um, so he's on social media, on Instagram and Facebook most famously. Um, it's Manny the Frenchie, and it's spelled M-A-N-N-Y, and Frenchie is with an I-E at the end. Um, so give us a follow. Amber, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for bringing Manny. And Dr. Yasmin, I want to thank you for being so smart for my parents and my listening audience. Thanks I want to thank so you guys much. for thank being you. my guests on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Have a good day. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.